Bargani Riches, welcome back to the channel. It is nine o'clock at night and I am ready to go to bed, but I really wanted to do this video before I go to, go to sleep. bed, but I just got some news a few hours ago that I wanted to share with you and um, just sort of help anybody who may be out there. So I live in the state of Maryland and there are two counties that are now requiring you to have a face cover they're not saying mask they're just saying face cover and i know that there are a lot of people out there that may not have a mask as a matter of fact i had to make one for one of my favorite grocery clerks i was in the grocery store on sunday and i noticed she was working without a mask and um i have my mask right here this is actually a n95 um mask but as I was talking to her, she said that she can't breathe with this thick mask on. So they were handing out paper masks and she didn't have one on. So I wanted to do this video to give you a couple of little tips about what I found about how to make masks. Then you don't have to use any sewing. As a matter of fact, let me go get the mask I made. <sighs> okay, now, um, the first thing I wanted to do is give you some ideas. So. Like I said, California, I think, have already required you to wear a face covering. Philadelphia, I know, has required you to wear a face covering. The reason why I know is because I, I follow Philly Diva on Instagram, and she showed us how you can use a t-shirt to make a face covering. So let's look at that video right now. So that is one idea. She was out one day and she realized she had to go in the store and she did not have a face mask. So she actually took a t-shirt and made it into um, a face mask. So that's one thing you can do. Um, I got one of these fancy ones off of um, Instagram, but I normally wear my N95 up under this one. But if you don't have anything like that, the first thing I started doing before I got any mask in was, y'all remember these? These are my lock socks. So let me just pull one up. This is what we would put on our heads to sort of make a hairstyle with it or protect your locks. It's open on both ends. And what you can actually do is put it here and pull it up like that you have a face covering um if you want to you can put a coffee filter over your face too and pull that up i've heard a lot of people are using coffee filters now don't worry if you do not have a lock sock if you take a look at this does this remind you of anything a legging you can actually cut up an old pair of leggings to get you a little tube like this. And this is so small, you can carry it in your purse so that you always have a way to cover your mouth. Um, I've actually had to go out of the house three times a week to go to physical therapy, but I did graduate last week Friday. So I, the only time I have to go out of the house now is 
grocery shopping and I usually do that on Sunday and um, I do walk but I don't use a mask for that because I'm not near anybody so yeah these are my lock socks and if you don't have one just get you a pair of leggings and cut it off another thing you can use and I had this on today this is a head wrap and I know you probably not gonna be able to see it oh as far as back I can go but this is a head wrap and you can always just tie it behind you and you got a mask or you got a mouth a face covering so if you have a head wrap you have a face covering okay also I got these things from um, Ulta and I've also gotten them from CVS it's a workout turban you can also use this as a face covering Let's put it down here boop face covering so go through your house first to see what you might have already that can be used as a face covering um, so now I'm gonna post two videos below one is like 15 minutes and one is five minutes that will teach you how to make a mask without sewing so this is the mask that I actually made for the cashier and I think it's kind of too big for her face so I think I'm gonna cut this down but this is from an old t-shirt that I had and it says God is on my team you just cut a square about the size of a piece of paper you know white paper you put five holes down the side you cut some strips of the shirt that you're working with and you um, lace it and oops upside down now I have a mask you can wear this two ways you can wear it as um, you can tie this you can fix it so that it hangs behind your ear or you can tie it on your head so yeah and see this is big for me and that lady is like 90 pounds she's a little old retired lady that comes to the grocery store that works every now and then so I think I'm gonna cut this down some more because I'm sure this is too big for her and it's actually two layers you use both layers of the shirt and you can stick a coffee filter in here as well and it stays so make sure when you do this you have a t-shirt that's 100% cotton and I will post those video links below where um, you can make these masks at home so I just wanted to make a video to let you know if it hasn't come to your area it's coming it started in California it's in Philly and it's in two counties in Maryland you are required to have a face covering whenever you are at the grocery store at the pharmacy which is basically where we can go I guess if you're picking up food from a restaurant anywhere you're around other people you're required to wear a face mask so in case you did not have any and I found that some of my co-workers didn't have a face mask but they've also stayed in the house the whole time because I had my surgery and I was going to rehabilitation uh, physical therapy I didn't have an option to stay at home I still had to come out for physical therapy so continue to wash your hands continue to stay at home I know there's a lot of people out here who work at CVS who work at Amazon who work at um, Instacart and all these places that we definitely are using I know a lot of my colleagues are having their groceries delivered and they have to be out there in the elements so this video is to just let you know what you can do to sort of protect yourself it's better than nothing um, you're not going to find any mask uh, I went to sev seven stores on Sunday looking for a mask for the lady and nobody has mask Walgreens said they haven't had them in nine weeks CVS said they haven't had it in weeks so I don't think nobody's gonna have any mask so thank you so much for tuning into my video I'm gonna hurry up and try to edit this and put it up tonight be safe stay home peace